Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video we're gonna talk about the Nisi close-up lens filter adapter that I love to use with my Lumix S1 if I want to achieve the one-to-one -one macro capability but I can also use it with my anamorphic scope to achieve some nice close-up that normally this lens wouldn't be able to achieve. This is one of those pieces of gear that I always bring with me because it is extremely versatile and it opens up a lot of possibility in case you need to get closer to your subject you are photographing or filming. And this is extremely easy to use because you just have to screw the filter on the filter thread of your lens and in this way you're gonna still keep the autofocus capabilities of your lens and this is a great advantage over the macro adapters that you can stitch between the lens and the camera also because you don't have to remove your lens and risking to introduce the dirt in front of your sensor because with this system you will also keep and retain the weather sealing gasket of the lens so your system is going to be safer against dirt and water in my case i really love to use it with my 24 105 f4 because once i achieve the 105 millimeter focal length this lens adapter gives me a one-to-one -one macro reproduction out there in the market there are many of these type of adapters that are called diopters and they can go from the intensity of 0.5 1 2 3 4 5 and this is going between uh, uh, 3 and 5 according to the focal length because this Nisi close-up filter has an higher magnification reproduction if you use a really long lens for example I like to use it also with my contact size 8204 at 200 and the magnification reproduction with that lens is just insane it is a really strong macro lens but if you're gonna use this lens adapter with a 70 millimeter lens you're gonna have less magnification during my test I've been using this lens adapter also with my macro lenses for example the Leica Elmarit 60 millimeter f2.8 and thanks to this adapter I achieved the one-to-one -one macro capability that I wasn't able to achieve because I don't have the uh, adapter ring that you can mount between the camera and the lens. So this is a great universal tool if you need versatility and you like to go out just with one lens so you can always bring with you this lens adapter to open up more macro capabilities of your lens. Talking about sharpness, I didn't see any drop of sharpness while using this adapter with uh, apochromatic lenses. This filter comes in two sizes and you are seeing the 77mm size, but they also sell the 58mm size. I would say that if you don't really have big lenses, maybe you should get the 58mm diameter filter because this piece of glass is kind of heavy. But I think it's better if you make your own researches about it and decide what uh, filter is better for you, also according to what you can buy in the future. Talking about what's in the box, the filter comes in this little package and inside the box you will find a very nice and well made pouch to store your filter. It's uh, the same size as the filter and uh, as you can see and it comes with two nice protective uh, caps and also in the box you will get two step up rings the 72 to 77 and the 67 to 77 so you don't need to spend extra money when you decide to buy this uh, lens filter adapter. I also tested this uh, close-up filter with my anamorphic scope the Isco Ultra Star that is a two times anamorphic scope but because I don't use uh, variable diopters this uh, anamorphic behaves more like a 1.8 anamorphic uh, scope and I have to say that it is extremely versatile to have this type of adapter because uh, when you work uh, with just diopters I like to set the focus point of the lens around 2 meters and then I just play with the diopter to get some close-up shots of the talent I'm filming. And you can see some extreme distortion because the almost two times anamorphic scope with this lens adapter can go a little bit funky, let's say. But uh, overall I'm extremely happy to use this uh, lens adapter with the anamorphic scopes because it doesn't introduce coma or uh, chromatic aberrations. In my opinion having a piece of gear like this in the camera bag is extremely convenient because uh, you're gonna have a lot of uh, versatility. Obviously I didn't try the lens flare test with this diopter otherwise I would have fried the sensor of my camera. 
don't do that so this is it for today guys thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment below what do you think about uh, what you saw in the video i'll see you in the next one ciao